Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields and I am super excited to share with you day one of your seven part neck pain relief series. Let's make it happen. Before I start, a lot of you have been asking about this. This is a prolordotic neck exerciser and this is going to be included or a towel in this video. So I've included a link down below if you want to get one of these. Start with a medium or a light depending on the strength of your neck. Otherwise, let's get started. You know, the opposite of forward head posture like this is a chin tuck. So we're going to do a chin tuck first. I want you to I want to see that double chin. I want you to pull that head over your shoulders. I want that ear lined up, just pulling it, pulling it, pulling with your shoulders. Put your palms forward, even the chest up, the shoulders down. It's, it's a chin tuck. So let's make it happen. Push it, push it, push it, push it hard. Good. But yet let that face be relaxed. Let the shoulders be pulled down. Let the front of your body just energetically come up and the back of your body energetically come down, pulling your shoulders down. The palms are forward. Okay, good. Now we're going to do a stretch that encourages that. Take your right hand. I'm going to do the mirror image of you and just pull this mustache area down and pull the back of your skull up just like this. We're creating a shearing force. We talked about the front of the body coming up, but the head is going to come down and the, the, the front of the head is going to come down and the back of the head is going to come up. So you're going to feel this. Oh, this is so good. I'm feeling a stretch right back at the upper thoracic spine, underneath the suboccipitals. It's so good. Oh, loving it. Bringing in that lubrication brain in that movement. Movement is lubricant. Let's bring that movement in. That's your prescription is movement. So let's go ahead and do some side to side now. Just side to side, pulling it in, feeling the stretch on the side of the neck, pumping fluid into your facet joints, into your discs. Let the shoulders relax. So remind those shoulders just to let go. Feeling that relaxed shoulder. Loving it. You know, healing is not a moment in time. Healing is a verb. Healing is movement going in a direction, putting your foot on the accelerator and not taking it off till the day you die. Living the lifestyle of healing. And that's what we're doing with this video and with this series. Keep going. Just feel it. Okay, now take your left hand. Let's do the other side even though it's a similar stretch. Pull the front of your head down, the back of your head up, lifting it, lifting it, lifting it, feeling that stretch. I'm feeling it where I need it, which is right here. Lifting it, lifting it. You feeling that? Yes, you are. Mmm, it feels good. Mm-hmm. Push, push, push a little harder and lift, lift, lift a little harder. Good. Now you might find it in a new spot, a new direction. Good. That's a really good stretch. We're going to do what's called controlled articular rotations now. So we're going to bring the head down, okay? And then I want you to rotate your head to your right and then take your right ear and bring it over your right shoulder as much as you can. Don't go too far. Listen to your body. Now bring your nose up to the ceiling. Again, if you're pushing into pain, you're going too far. Draw a line across the ceiling to the other side with your nose. Good. And then let your ear just come down, your left shoulder, your left pec. Good. And then rotate back and go right back to center. We're going to do that again. So rotate your head to the left, to rotate the head to your right. Right ear over right shoulder. Coming up. Nose to the ceiling, a big red crayon line with your nose across the ceiling. Let that ear just slide down your shoulder and your pec and back to center. Good. Let's go again. Rotate your head to your right. Bring your right ear over your shoulder and draw that line in the sky. Good. Coming all the way over to the left side. That left ear is just going to drop slowly down. You're testing your range of motion here. Let's go to the other side. So we're going to rotate to your left. Take your left ear over your left shoulder. Draw the line across the sky. 
Good, let your right ear slide down that shoulder and chest and back to center. Good, turn your face to the left, left ear over your shoulder, coming across the sky, smiling at the sky, hello sky. Let that ear come down the shoulder, good. Coming back to center, let's do one more. Turning your head to, the, to your left, left ear over your shoulder, coming across the sky and sliding down back to center. Good, this is good, and coming back up. Oh, feel it, that's good. How do you like that? I like it. Okay, let that ear come to the shoulder a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna do another articular rotation. We're gonna do an infinity sign. It's a sidewards eight. We're gonna start and you're gonna bring your nose, we're gonna, we're gonna draw that infinity sign with your nose. So go ahead and bring your nose up and to the right and then down into the, on the right side and then up and across to the left, up, 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 up. Coming around and down, coming up and to the right. Good, curving it around diagonally up to the left, curving it down, diagonally up to the right. Good, keep going, diagonally up and to the left, curving it around. Good, let's go the other direction. So we're gonna go down and to the left, curving it up, down and to the right, curving it up, down and to the left. Good, keep going. Might hear a little popping and clicking little popcorn in there. I get a lot of questions about this. I don't think you need to worry about it unless there's pain involved. So things might need to track a little bit better. You might have a little degeneration in there, but we're into regeneration, rehydration. Good. Excellent. Okay. Let's do another controlled articular rotation and get that lubricant in there. So we're going to have you laterally flex your head to your right, just feel that stretch. Let the shoulders relax. Smile a little bit. It's a great day. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing right now. Okay, now in that position, we're just going to bring our nose up to the sky a little bit, as much as you can handle, and then bring it down to the chest. Good. Keep going up and down. Good. Up and down. Just kissing that soreness. Not going any more than that. Just kissing it. Not too much. Not too little. God, you're in the driver's seat. Good. Let's go ahead to the other side. Let that left ear come to the left shoulder and bring that nose a little bit up to the ceiling and a little bit down. Great. We're going to expand your territory. Expand the territory of your neck. What's it capable of? What's it possible? The neck is a connection between your head and your body your brain, and your peripheral nervous system. Let's get in good shape. It's important. It's not underrated. We want a good neck. Oh, good. Feeling that movement. Feel a little soreness here. Let's just pull that head down a little bit. Just pull it down. Take a breath right into that upper thoracic spine. Good, let's do a little strengthening. We do very safe strengthening. We're gonna do isometric contractions in a neutral position. So we're gonna just bring the ears a little bit over the shoulder. Now bring that right hand on your forehead and just push, push straight at me. Push, 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 push. Feeling that strength, feeling these muscles just awaken. Let's bring them out of amnesia. Let's wake them up. Now bring that same hand over to the side of your head and push your head to the side Good morning muscles. Good morning neck. Hello. Now we're going to go down to the chin with the opposite hand and nod. Good. Getting those deep cervical neck flexors. Those great muscles for posture. Great muscles for the cervical curve. And let's bring that hand over to the side of the head and push. Push, 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 push. Loving it. Remind that posture up, the front of the body up. Bring that ear over to the shoulder. Okay, let's go ahead with the right hand now on the forehead. Good, pushing forward. Good, love strength. Strength is good. Strength protects your neck. And let's go to the other side, to the, to the side of the head. Push, 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 push. 
Ooh, this feels good. I love it. And let's get that, that fist right under the ch chin and bring it down. Deep cervical neck flexors. It's tough to say with these fist in my, my neck. Okay, let's go this way. Push it to the side. Oh, this is great. So another great one here. I want you to realize when the head goes forward like this, then the eyes look straight forward and the occipitals get, get tight. This is our goal. So we're going to lift those suboccipitals. Take your, right here, your knuckle, get it under this bony protuberance here, right behind your ear. Just push it right up under there. Get it on the other side. The fingers are, are up the head and we're going to lift that skull and pull down with the opposite hand. Good. Lift the skull and pull down with the opposite hand. You do my videos, you know I love this one. Now, this is good for 99% of the people out there. However, if you're that 1% that gets dizzy or doesn't feel right with this, just go side to side like this and don't lift. It's great. I get the comments. I get the feedback. You guys are telling me a lot. And I learn from you like you're learning from me. Good. Just lifting. Lifting. Beautiful. Feels good. This is a headache killer. This is a neck mobilizer. Oh, a little speed if you want, or just feel it nice and slow. You can change the angle, bring the head a little bit forward. You'll, you'll tap in. You're going to feel exactly what your body's telling you where you need it. Good. Feel that little tightness and, oh, just scratch that itch. Okay, let's do a little stretch. We're going to encourage that again, that same thing by doing 45 degree stretch. Get your right hand and just pull your head at 45 degrees. So you're opening up the suboccipital area, opening up this upper thoracic area and tuck that chin and just pull, 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 pull. Oh, yummy. Loving it. Tuck, tuck, tuck. This is your medicine right here. Movement. Mechanics. Mechanics help drive brain function too. Okay, let's go to the other side. Take your left hand and pull. Oh, that's wonderful. So we're going to get that. Next, we're going to get that prolordotic neck exerciser or the towel. And we're going to help the cervical curve. We're going to mobilize and strengthen at the same time. That's why this is so wonderful. I get more compliance on the prolordotic neck exerciser in my office than any other tool I have people get or use. So let's go ahead and take it, put it around, or your towel, or your belt, whatever you have. Put it around your neck, set it, and let's push out the handles. Good. And bring them together. And now, remind the shoulders down. We're going to bring the hands a little bit lower than your shoulders. Bring the head back. Hold it for a few seconds. And then tuck the chin and bring it right back to neutral. Bringing it back, push into that end range motion and tuck it right back to center. Keep going. Keep that rhythm going. If it doesn't feel right in this position, move it to another position. I haven't seen your x-rays. I don't know exactly where you need it, but for right now, we're doing three different positions. I can't wait for this to be done so you can feel the benefit you get out of this. Good. Let's go ahead and move the hands up right to the level of the shoulders. Good. Look at that ceiling, hopefully. Hey, if you're just here, if you're just really, some people might just be here. That's okay. Go with what you can do. We measure neck movement in the office. We make sure we get and regain that movement. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it up again. Oh, I get to do this. I love it. What could be better? I tend to get a little impatient and end up going kind of fast. You might find the fast ones work a little bit better for you, but I like Hold it for a few seconds and bring it down. 
Hold it for a few seconds and bring it down. Good. Oof, I could keep going. Anyway, that was wonderful. Let's just go ahead and just, I want you to feel that. Just nod your head a little bit and feel that motion, that life. You might even feel your brain wake up a little bit, a little less tension in your nervous system, a little less fight or flight, a little more rest and digest. Feels good. Turn your head left and right now. Good. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit more of that and also some nerve flossing. You're going to love it. I can't wait to see you. Let's go on this journey together.